welcome indeed. This is Peter Sandovich with you on a Friday morning, and we're on the final day of June. Great to have you with me. Lovely to be with you. However, these bets that I've got for you run tomorrow on the 1st of July. Uh, I've come back to you after a few weeks off the channel, but I'm back with you now, all the 6,000 followers that I have, and over a 1,000 winners in the last three years on this channel. As you well know, if you've been a follower and support to me like so many, so many people have. Slightly to tell you, I've got two bets. That's right, one, two, the old one, two, bum, bum. And they're both running at the Curra in Ireland tomorrow. Both very strong, if fancy. They're both running in handicaps, which you know I predominantly get my winners from because that's where all the big price winners are. Over the last three years since I've been on this channel, my strike rate is over 42% winning place on all bets, an average price of seven to one. That's winning place, all bets. Each way, I've been paying out at 42%, which is astronomical and unmatchable by any other club or any other tipster in the country, guaranteed. Over a thousand winners, over a million views, and I'm here today on this Friday, final day of June, as people keep coming in with more information from me all the time, on the final day of June, to give you one big daily double for Irish racing tomorrow at the Curra. And as you well know, and if you don't know, I'm going to tell you, there is no other tips in the country. It doesn't matter who they are, journalists, tipsters, media experts, whatever, all due respect to everyone. But there's no one tipped as many winners in Ireland as me and as many big prize winners in Ireland as me. And that is not even open to question. Uh, the winners are all in the video, but, but I have tipped more winners than anyone. And my average prize winner in Ireland is 10 to 1. These horses, which are running on Saturday, I'm not sure what price they're going to be. One of them's in the ladies' derby at the Curry, the Curra, and the other one runs in a big handicap, which I'm going to open up with in just one second. But uh, the prices should be very, very much each way backable. As I say, my average price is 10 to 1, and my strike rate is 42%, and my average winner is 7 to 1. That's a serious, serious profit figures there. And they're not even open to question. A lot of people come through and the first time they look at it and they say, that's impossible. That, it's not impossible. Trust me. They're all in the can and they're all absolutely guaranteed and proofed 100% with YouTube. So onward we go with the first bets I've been on this line for some time, about four, five, six weeks maybe. Incidentally, in the last five videos I've done on this channel, which is free of charge, let's remember that, this is free of charge, and I have tipped over a, a, a thousand winners free of charge, a thousand winners free of charge on this channel, that in the last five weeks, four messages have come on, have brought about some colossal winnings. Four out of the five times I've come on, 80%, I've brought about some amazing profits, including 66 to 1 doubles, all sorts of winners, and uh, I aim to uh, do the business again. I'm going to have two singles, and I'm going to have the each way double as well on these two. So let's get serious. Let's get straight into it. These are at the Curra for Saturday, the very first day of July. I want to kickstart the month in style. I'm looking for my biggest ever month on YouTube and the biggest ever month for my many, 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 many members. All right. And that is serious statement that because I have had some unbelievable winners. And I can tell you in November and December and January this year just gone and this year first just happened. I tip more winners than I've ever tipped ever in 20 years, 25 years in the business. So I'm ready to really give it the old one too now as more information comes through. That's the noise I get when I get a bleep from a, a WhatsApp or, or an email. So I'm just having a quick glance at what's happening as they're coming through. So we're in good shape as we go in for the second part of the year. I'm looking for the biggest six months ever. So there we go. It says it all, doesn't it? Let's concentrate then. Let's get stuck into it. Izzy Wizzy, let's get busy. Who said that? Sooty, my friend Sooty. Sooty from Blackpool. Sooty was established in Blackpool on the North Pier. Amazing, isn't it? You wouldn't know where he come from, but you do now from Blackpool. Right, 250 at the Curra. Now, there's an interesting message. It's a 15-runner handicap over six furlong, and it's going to be run at a really fast pace. And there's one horse here who stands out head and shoulders to me, and it's trained by uh, Joseph O'Brien. You all know who he is, of course. And this one is number two. It's called Apache Outlaw. Now, it's trained by O'Brien. It's got a young apprentice, Stone Walsh, on it, who claims a valuable seven pounds. I think this horse, uh, Colt, Chestnut Colt, 
is already extremely well handicapped off a mark of 96. Raced off 97, ridden by the same young apprentice last time up, at this track and ran really well, went fourth of nine behind a horse called Run, Ran, Run. Run, Ran, Run. Try saying that after a few shandies. Run, Ran, Run. I can do it at the minute because I'm not had a shandy. I've not even had a dandelion of bird up, although I may have one later on. Number two, then, Apache Churchill. Apache Churchill? Apache Outlaw. Don't know where I got the Churchill from there. That could be from the uh, the powers that be, you know, are coming through. Are they coming through? The Churchill. Well, keep your eye on that. Uh, that was him, wasn't it, Churchill? Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Number two, anyway, come on. Apache Outlaw. Don't forget that mixed up with Apache Churchill, for goodness sake. Number two, Apache Outlaw. I'm going each way. The prices haven't come out yet because I'm time of broadcasting just before 10 a.m. in the morning. So I, I don't know. I think it's probably about five or six to one. And uh, the form figures, it's got naught, 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 four. So three noughts and a four. And uh, ran at, say, fourth of nine at the Curra last time out. And uh, I think that form's rock solid. I really do. It has been overfaced a little bit by O'Brien. And um, he's been running in Group 3s and Group 2s and even a Group 1. Uh, well, admittedly, where it came last in a Group 1. But, you know, the horse was been entered in really high-class contests. And now reverts into a more winnable handicap, that's for sure. So it's, it's in a handicap. Last time it ran was in a handicap off a of marker 97. I say, run by this young jockey who's uh, getting a lot of openings for O'Brien. And I think that Apache Outlaw is really something to bet on in this particular race, I really do. This young boy is not a bad lad. He just rode a winner for Gavin Cromwell a couple of goes ago. He's had uh, 12 winners from 95 rides. So that's pretty good for a £7 claimer. And uh, this also for 96 handicap mark. This Colt has got a £7 bonus on top with Stone Walsh on board. And it carries my vote as well. Now, one of the key factors with this horse is not just the apprentice who's on it, who's very good, and the fact that it's trained by a bag in form yard from Joseph Patrick O'Brien and Joseph O'Brien. It's the fact it goes back up to six furlongs. Having ran last time over five at this meeting at the Curra, and it was obvious from watching it over and over again that this source needed a little bit further, and it's reverting to six, and I think that'll make all the difference, and I can see this source winning without a shadow of a doubt. I'll be very surprised if it's not in the frame. I think some of the bookmakers will pay first four, most pay first three, but you can also get enhanced odds as well. I think we know what we're talking about. The 250 at Curra is the one to be on, and it is called Apache Outlaw, not Apache Churchill. Apache, but the key thing is we've got the victory, haven't we, as Churchill said. Apache Outlaw, 250, Curra, stick it down, pick it up and go and draw. That's my old adage. Put it down, pick it up and go and draw. Now then, I've got one here for you now. The 435 at the Curra. I'm going to leave you with this one, and this is a very special bet. I think it'll win. I'm very hopeful it'll win, and I'll be surprised if it doesn't win. But there we go. I've been surprised in the past, but then again, with a thousand winners in three years, I've not been that surprised, have I? I've tipped an awful lot of winners. By the way, they're not just the winners, they are the free winners that I've got. Free. That's free. And my average price is seven to one. Free. So my private clients and my really personal clients get those for free. Obviously, what you're getting for free. But the ones who are paying for information. And some people pay premium information, which is never transmittable on air, because obviously there's lots of people on air who wouldn't pay even if it's free. Work that out. A lot of people who are watching this will not pay even if it's free. That's how hard it is, this game. It is, isn't it? People won't pay even when it's free. In the meantime, if you want winners, a thousand winners in three years says it all. I don't need to come on air. I don't need to. There's no more to prove. People say, why aren't you on here? Why aren't you that? Why, we miss you. Well, you know, I've been on here. I've had a thousand winners on here. But I can't keep coming on every day. I can't. It's, I just can't. It's tiring and, and it's not fair to the private clients. I can't give all my information on here, can I? To people are paying good money for it. But I do come on here now and again because it's the first of the month tomorrow. I'm going to treat you. and I'm going to give you two very powerful bets. Big ones as well over in Ireland, like I've told you. Nobody's picked more winners than me. It's not a, it's not a bold statement. It's a fact. It's just the way it is, and uh, that's where it will always be. When I decide to come on here, I'll always tip winners. Not every single time, but over a period of time, I will tip more winners than anybody. It, it's not even open to question. 
But I'm talking about big price winners. Anyone can come on here and tip even money, six to fours, seven to four, you know, strike rates at 36, 50 percent. That's all right. But we're talking about big price payouts, doubles, trebles, accumulators, lucky 15s. That's what I'm trying to get. The normal working man, a working price horse uh, has got a good chance without busting the bank having to have two or three hundred on one at even money. Anyway, so let's go to the 435 at the current. It's the Kildare Village Ladies Derby Handicap. Obviously for lady riders and some top class girls in there, including Rachel Blackmore. She's on one. Uh, Miss Jodie Townend as well. She'll be riding one. So they're all there. All the Irish girls are there. Siobhan Rutledge. They're all Amy Jo Hayes, Jessica May. They're all there. And they're all trying and they've all got great chances. But there's one girl who comes from Australia. Yeah, Australia. She's rode hundreds of winners down under. And um, there's, she's riding for a, a real, real cute trainer. I don't mean pretty. I mean shrewd. And his name is Tony Martin. And I've had some big touches with Tony Martin, including one horse he trained at Cheltenham, which won this year. And we backed it off the board from 20s into 12s. And it duly come from last to first, as I said it would. Now, this horse is number 15. It's called Draco Pullcrack. Exactly. I'm going to spell that to you. D-R-A-C-O, Draco, and then Pullcrack, P-U-L-C-H-R-A-C, Draco Pullcrack. It's ridden by a, a, a really good jockey who's ridden 300 winners and more. Her name's Emily Finnegan, unknown to most people in the British Isles, I'd have thought. But she's not unknown to Tony Martin. She's got Irish background. She's got Irish family. And she's come over visiting uh, to see her family, having lived in Australia for a long time and other countries. But she's got one ride while she's here. And Tony Martin has booked her to win the derby. And I think she'll win it. She's on a horse which is certainly, or a mare, I beg your pardon, who's a five-year-old who's ready to strike, who rang really well last time up when six of 17 behind a horse called High Time You Won, which was at Leopardstown. That day, it was ridden by a man jockey called Ben Martin Cohen. It's also been ridden by Dennis O'Regan. Uh, so it's had some real strong jockeys on it. But now it's going to have Emily Finnegan, who can take care of the horse and has got a big relationship with it. Been working out at Martin's Yard, been riding this one. And the word I'm getting and the form lines all say one thing. Draco Pullcrop to win the derby for Emily Finnegan. And people go, Emily who? Emily Finnegan. That's it. It's 4.35 at the corner. I'm going each way. I don't know what price it'll be. It should be 5, 6 to 1. Maybe bigger. It's quite a competitive event, obviously. 15 minutes. And it is number 15. She's a lovely mare. Emily Finnegan rides from Australia. Opportunity knocks. And there we go. Two horses. Apache Outlaw and Draco Pullcrack. There's two very big price horses there. Very good price horses anyway. Not sure what price is going to be exactly. But I think we've got a great chance of hitting the back of the net big time. So all that's left for me to say is uh, I hope you've enjoyed my dulcet It's the first time I've been on it for a little while. It's been great to be with you. I'm just going to press the buttons on here right now to say uh, I'm going to be seeing you again soon enough. If you have subscribed to the channel, you'll get an alert when told you when. I may be back tomorrow night. I may not. I'll see how it goes. But in the meantime, have a great day. Have a great 1st of July. We're going for the Daily Double. 250 at the Curra, 435 at the Curra, single, single, and the old daily double. The daily double should come to around 40 or 50 to 1. What a great way to start July and the first day of the second half of the season. Go get them.